Right now, right inside you, there's a powerhouse that could flip your whole world upside down. In a good way, of course. But here's the real deal. Are you using this incredible power? Chances are, you might not even know it's there. That's why, in today's video, we will dive deep into Carl Jung's insights. He showed us that our deepest feelings send out vibrations that change everything around us. Think you're ready for a major shakeup? Stick with us till the end. We're going to challenge you to tap into these vibrations, confront any obstacles head on, and promise you the tools to master this energy and completely revamp your life. Let's crank up those vibrations and make some magic happen. Think of it this way. You possess all the strength and zest needed to turn your aspirations into reality. The secret? You have to align your vibrations. Every vibration you send out through your thoughts, emotions or attitudes attracts similar energies back to you. The universe acts like a giant cave, echoing and reflecting your energy through the events, people and situations in your life. And when you amplify your spiritual energy, your vibrations don't just hang around, they rocket through the cosmos in every direction. You might have noticed this during moments of sheer joy, that tingle of excitement. That's your spirit soaring. With a little training, you can spark this surge of positivity anytime, goosebumps or not. This phenomenon, known as spiritual elevation, goes by many names worldwide. Euphoria, prana, aura, and life force. You have to dial into that unique frequency that sets the rhythm for everything in life. From the smallest particles to the endless expanses of space, it's all vibrating. Even subatomic particles, the building blocks of matter, vibrate to grant everything its essence. That's the magic of the universe. This magic may be somewhat unattainable, but only because you don't have the right information. That's why we put together our newsletter, where you get insights on spirituality, energy, and consciousness right in your inbox. All you have to do is type your email in the link below, and you'll get your free copy of The Kibalion, a book revered and respected by other truth seekers like you. You see, a frequency like 19 Hertz can evoke a sense of unease, even though it's inaudible. Conversely, a soothing 432 hertz melody can relax us and even promote healing in our minds and bodies. Our bodies naturally vibrate at about 7.5 hertz, aligning closely with Earth's own vibrations. Interestingly, each emotion we experience vibrates at a specific frequency. Emotions, in essence, are energy set in motion. Remarkably, the frequency associated with peace ranks among the highest, just below enlightenment. This suggests that achieving a state of peace elevates us to a higher frequency than even feeling love or indulging in life's delights. It's a concept backed by science. Finding peace is more rewarding than pursuing temporary pleasures. Jung emphasized the transformative power of the subconscious often stating, until you make the unconscious conscious, it will direct your life and you will call it fate. Now, have you ever wondered about how altering your energy levels could revamp your entire life? Here's a mind bender for you. Thinking less boosts your energetic vibration. Sounds odd, right? But it's true. When our minds are cluttered with endless thoughts, we drift away from our core selves and the high-level energy we're capable of reaching. Reflect on your most joyous times. What was on your mind then? Or were you even thinking at all? What if the key to more of those peak joy moments lay in simply quieting the mental noise? You have to turn inward and reduce those incessant thoughts, which in turn elevates your vibrational frequency. Embracing this shift can radically transform how connected and harmonious you feel with the world around you. 
This alignment seeps into every aspect of life, enhancing relationships and opening avenues for both personal and professional growth. High vibrations draw scenarios and people that match this positivity, enriching your life's trajectory. Now, the technique which we shall unfold to you shortly will not only shift your relationship with your thoughts, but also push your vibration to heights you never thought possible. But how can fewer thoughts lead to higher vibrations? Picture yourself traveling back in time to a cherished memory filled with happiness. Perhaps a joyous gathering with loved ones, a personal triumph, or a tranquil walk. Close your eyes, let this memory surface, and immerse yourself in the sensations. The sun's warmth, the sound of laughter, the scent of blooming flowers. Allow yourself to relive every detail vividly, engaging fully with the moment. Through such practices, as Jung would suggest, we tap into the collective unconscious, connecting more deeply with ourselves and with the universal energies that govern our lives. This isn't just about feeling better, you're fundamentally transforming your life from the inside out. And this exercise is designed to show you how moments of pure joy are often times when your mind is clear, free from worries and never-ending thoughts. You were just there, fully living in the present, experiencing life in its truest form. It's the absence of mental noise that brings a tranquil depth to your being, allowing you to engage with life authentically. This state, where thoughts fall away and you're wholly absorbed in the now, is where your energy vibrates at higher levels. Here, you're in tune with the essence of your true self. Carl Jung captured this beautifully when he said, the least of things with a meaning is worth more in life than the greatest of things without it. In the simplicity of a calm mind, our inherent, elevated energy thrives. The link between fewer thoughts and higher vibration is great. Our thoughts, particularly those that are repetitive and negative, can act as barriers, blocking us from our highest potential. They tether us to past regrets or future fears, severing our connection with the present and the positive energies that thrive there. But by minimizing these intrusive thoughts, we open ourselves up to a freer flow of energy. We become attuned to the universe's higher vibrations, attracting people, situations, and experiences that reflect on this positivity. This energy field, both surrounding and infusing our physical being, is fortified by inner peace and the absence of mental turmoil. It acts as a shield, warding off negative influences and sinking us with energies that complement our heightened state. Think of it like tuning a radio to the perfect station. When we align with these high frequencies, every aspect of our lives begins to harmonize in a satisfying and delightful manner. Reflecting on happy moments and recognizing the lack of excessive thoughts during these times can act as a powerful reminder. It shows how naturally our vibration elevates when we are present, peaceful, and fully immersed in the moment. This insight guides us toward building and developing a life where presence and peace are the norms, not the exceptions. Did you know the real game changer lies in understanding the link between our mind's machinations and our life's vibrations? First off, it's important to distinguish between thinking and thoughts. Thinking is like running a marathon. It's the active process of chewing over information, tackling problems, or plotting your next move. It's dynamic, ongoing brain work. Thoughts, on the other hand, are more like the snapshots that pop up in your mind, spontaneous ideas and images that drift through your consciousness. Thinking is the verb, the action. Thoughts are the nouns, the entities that just are. 
Understanding this difference enlightens us. We aren't just a bundle of thoughts. We're the ones watching them from the stands. Thinking serves us well when we're solving puzzles or planning a project, but when it doesn't stop, it can yank us away from tranquility. As Carl Jung pointed out, thinking is difficult. That's why most people judge. This incessant mental noise can muddy our inner peace. Here's where it gets deep. Thoughts vibrate. They pulse with energy. If you're constantly replaying negative tapes in your head, you're dialing down your vibrational frequency, inviting stress and anxiety to lower your energy levels. Jung also taught us, what you resist persists. So when negative patterns dominate your thoughts, they shape a reality that keeps feeding those same patterns. Imagine your energy field as a landscape that should be lush and flowing. Constant repetitive thoughts are like weeds and debris cluttering this landscape, blocking the streams of vitality meant to nourish it. These blockages can show up as fatigue, foggy thinking, erratic emotions, and even physical ailments. Your vital energy, which should be dynamic and flowing, becomes stagnant. Also, the less you think, the more you are, said Jung. By quieting the mind, you invite peace and allow energy to move without hindrance. Throughout history, spiritual sages, including Buddha, have underscored this. Buddha argued that clinging to thoughts and desires breeds suffering and championed meditation as a way to observe and detach from these thoughts, aiming for a state of no mind or mental void. By consciously reducing our mental chatter, especially the destructive kind, we open up a space of quiet within. It's in this space that energy flows freely, unobstructed, enhancing our vibrational frequency and aligning us more closely with the vibrant pulse of the universe. This is your invitation to transform your mental landscape into a vibrant, flowing oasis. Now, did you know that finding true peace and enlightenment hinges on your ability to live in the moment? This idea suggests that escaping the maze of our thoughts frees us from suffering. Ramana Maharshi, an Indian sage, championed the practice of self-inquiry. By asking ourselves, who am I? We can break free from the confines of our thoughts and tap into our true essence, pure consciousness and elevated vibrations. Yet embracing the present doesn't mean we abandon thought entirely. Instead, it's about observing our thoughts neutrally, allowing our authentic self to emerge through mental tranquility. Once we understand this, life shifts dramatically, elevating our vibrations and transforming our experiences. Now, let's get into the effective method on how you can reach this state. Let's call it thought observation. First of all, you should find your space. Choose a serene spot where you won't be disturbed. Next, you should settle in Sit comfortably, close your eyes, and take deep breaths to center yourself. Watch the movie of your mind. Imagine observing your thoughts as if they were scenes in a movie. Don't react or get involved. Just watch them pass by. And when thoughts arise, recognize them without judgment or interference. Let them float by. If you find yourself caught up in a thought, Gently redirect your focus back to observing. And as they say, practice makes perfect. Dedicate a few minutes daily to this exercise, gradually increasing the duration as it becomes more comfortable. This practice of detaching from our thoughts promotes a crucial inner spaciousness, which is essential for heightening our vibrations. It diminishes the power of negative, repetitive thoughts and reduces stress as we stop identifying with every anxious or worrisome idea. With fewer thoughts vying for attention, you'll notice enhanced mental clarity 
enabling wiser, more aligned decisions. Additionally, observing your thoughts helps you identify emotional patterns without being swayed by them, promoting balanced emotional well-being. The space this method creates often leads to new, inspiring insights popping up unexpectedly. Understanding your energy field, or aura, is important here. It's an extension of our being, a reflection of our emotional, mental, and spiritual states. By mastering the observation of our thoughts, we improve our inner life and enrich our external energy field, leading to a more balanced and vibrant existence. Now, did you realize that your thoughts and feelings are like a superpower that can either boost or drain your energy field? That's right. When you focus on positive, high vibrational thoughts, your energy field expands and strengthens. But when you get caught up in negativity, your energy field shrinks and weakens. Keeping your energy clean is key to a lively and healthy life. A strong energy field shields you from harmful external vibrations and draws in experiences and people that match your positive energy. It's important that you monitor your thoughts because this alone can help cleanse your energy. Besides the technique we just showed you, let's show you another quick but very powerful tool that will also help you keep your energy spotless is meditation. Try this. Find a quiet spot, sit down, shut your eyes, and picture a radiant white light wrapping around you. Visualize this light seeping into every cell, washing away negative energies. Each breath out should send these unwanted energies away, leaving you refreshed and re-energized. Our interaction with the world and others is often automatic. Ever walked into a room and immediately felt the mood? That's your energy field mingling with others. Certain places like hospitals can leave you feeling drained because of the dense energy there. Being conscious of these interactions allows us to guard and cleanse our energy effectively. Society's mix of thoughts and emotions influences our vibration from the get-go. From childhood, we're soaked in societal beliefs and values that shape how we see ourselves and the world. These often bleed into us without our notice, creating thought patterns that may not truly reflect who we are. For instance, societal pressures to meet certain standards can stir feelings of inadequacy. Carl Jung insightfully observed, until you make the unconscious conscious, it will direct your life and you will call it fate. By identifying and questioning these inherited thoughts, asking, is this thought mine or is it something imposed by my upbringing or society? We start to differentiate our true voice from external noise. Breaking away from these imprints requires specific daily actions that boost your vibration. Constructing positive affirmations like, I am enough, I am loved, I am free to be me, and repeating them with belief can extremely shift your mindset and elevate your energy. Engaging in self-care, whether it's being in nature, exercising, eating well, or enjoying quiet moments, strengthens your energy and lessens the impact of negative societal vibrations. Even simple joys like pursuing hobbies that resonate with your spirit can uplift your vibrations. Remember, sticking to these practices consistently is necessary for real change. Every small step matters, and transformation is a gradual journey. With patience and persistence, you will discover that life flows more smoothly and that you meet challenges with newfound strength and clarity. Keep exploring and applying these insights and watch as your life transforms in unexpected and amazing ways. Each day, you'll align more with your authentic self, allowing the universal energies to flow through you more purely and powerfully. Over time, you'll see life become more fluid and harmonious, facing challenges 
with a refreshed sense of strength and clarity. And now, as we wrap up this video, you must remember, mastering your inner vibrations is the key to unlocking your true potential. It's a journey of self-discovery and empowerment. So why not start today? Begin by tuning into your thoughts and emotions and see how your life transforms. If you found this video inspiring, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more insights on how to live your best life. And hey, drop a comment below. Tell us how you're planning to use your inner power. Let's create a community of positive vibrations together. See you in the next video.